All right, guys, ionospheric heaters have been running all week in Northern Europe over at ISCAT, the European Scatter Association. We also saw multiple X flares from the sun. We have king tides once again and another super moon. All right, let's get right into it. What's up, sky watchers? What is up indeed? Thursday, November 6, 2025. Flares, floods, and the not-so-great Great Reset. Two X-flares and several M-class eruptions in an atmospheric river battling the Pacific Northwest, and yet the brightest supermoon pulling the seas higher than they've been in months. For five straight days, the sky's been in overdrive, magnetic, electric, and emotional. On November 4th, we saw two solar flares reach X-Class, a 1.8 and a 1.1. On November 5th, we had an M-Flare, 8.6. November 5th, an M7.4. On the 3rd, we had an M5. And on the 2nd, we had an M-Class 1, a moderate flare. While the solar bombardment unfolded, the European Scatter Association, ISCAT, conducted overlapping UHF, VHF, ESR, and high-frequency heating transmissions November 3rd onward. The pattern repeats, and what we saw during the previous full moon phase, natural solar stress plus localized electromagnetic excitation, effectively tuning the ionosphere during its most volatile state. The beaver full moon, the largest supermoon of 2025, rose on November 5th at perigee, tightening the gravitational link between Earth and its satellite. Its influence drove king tides and coastal flooding across multiple regions. The Oregon coast, the Washington coast, California, San Diego County, Florida. These extreme tides coincide with both solar flare pressure and ionospheric activity in alignment repeating for the third consecutive full moon cycle. And here's a photo I took last night with my Nikon D500 using a 500 millimeter lens. You can see the beaver supermoon in full detail. And a chain of atmospheric rivers has soaked the Pacific Northwest since early November, delivering three to five inches of rain with isolated totals near seven inches. Now let's take a look at the National Weather Service overview. The Pacific Northwest has heavy rain, flood warnings, winter weather advisories into the Cascades. The Northeast residual gale and coastal flood alerts from Maine to Massachusetts. And in the High Plains, there are red flag warnings, wind advisories indicating a dry, gusty fire weather risk. And in Alaska and Hawaii, high wind and small craft advisories ongoing. Across the magnetic grid, people are reporting heightened ear ringing, insomnia, mood volatility, and fatigue. And as for me, my ears have been ringing for days straight. During a strong geomagnetic coupling event like this, the human nervous system resonates with the same fluctuating electromagnetic environment affecting the planet. This is a planetary bioelectric feedback experienced directly through the body. All right, guys, my channel now has memberships. There are two tiers, Aurora and Polaris, and Jesse has become a Polaris member. This is a great way to support the channel, and eventually I will do behind the scenes membership videos. So thank you, Jesse, for reaching out to me and letting me know. And a huge shout out to Lori J for the coffees. I couldn't keep doing this without you guys. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.